Hello guys, Gibeon here, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. So, in this episode we're going to go ahead and start a run with the Blue Baby, and see how far we can possibly get with this character, which is, I think, the most difficult character to use in this game, because you have to, you have to survive only on, on uh, Spirit Hearts, which is quite insane. Right. start up now. Let's hope we have some good items because the only way that we can survive with this character is to get lots of good items and some spirit hearts as well. So we'll have to, oh, to hopefully best and hopefully get all the stuff that we need. Oh god. Well! <laughs> well I guess this is a a good indication of our luck right here. We got the blue Dr. Fidus baby now. <laughs> oh yes. Right. Well, the game just said, you know what? I'll give you the luck that you need. <laughs> oh yes. This is automatically an amazing run. When you get the Dr. Fidus, you just know that this is going to be the best run that we're going to get for a while. Alright. So, let's destroy some stuff with bombs. Uh, yep, this will be amazing. Even though we end up, if we end up not surviving for a long time, we will have had some fun. Yeah, look at that. Two bombs was enough. Right, so we got one more spirit heart with that. It's a bit of a shame really that it doesn't give red hearts, but oh well. That will be our challenge. Survive with spirit hearts while having the Doctor Fetus. I think it's a balanced run. I mean we have lots of power, but we don't have lots of HP, so we have to be really careful. So we're not really overpowered. Right, we'll have to be careful with that with that peel. No god. Right. Good thing they go pretty far. Right, let's get all the monies. Low key. Uh, we will not go and fight the boss right now. Just go to the, the, to the treasure room first. But we need to check that out. Hmm, is that worth it? Well, it would be if we would have some red hearts, but we don't have any. We just have spirit hearts. Hmm, should try it. Should we? Oh, whatever. We have Dr. Fidus. We should be fine. <laughs> Let's hope. Well, if that was the depth, uh, you know, the depth, uh, I wouldn't have actually gone for that, but since we're in the basement, is isn't too much of a risk. And the game is a bit laggy, weirdly enough. Let me just lower my settings again. I know the low settings will look pretty crappy, but we'll have to do it to deal with it because somehow my computer is having some trouble running that. No! God, those spiders! When you have overpowered stuff in the mining of Isaac, you always have. You know, the small enemies are always the. the uh, most difficult to kill. Oh, come on, I just want to kill that freaking spider. Right, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna hug. Well, just screwed up that sentence. I want to go ahead and restart that recording because 
it's too laggy and there's probably something open on my computer that is causing that slowdown so yeah so I'll be right back in a minute well it seems like it's only the flash player having some trouble so I can just restart the game so yeah so I'll have to deal with that All right well this is better than the poop even though it's not the best of items At least we'll have a chance of dealing with our enemies without actually using bombs everywhere. Just want to check for secret rooms. Right. Kill the poop. Nothing. Right. Yeah, what's fun with the Dr. Fidus is that you can look for secret rooms everywhere without actually using bombs, because you have infinite bombs, so... Really, really amazing! Wow, where's the secret room? I can't manage to find it. No... It's probably there, then. Ah, uh, okay, well that's the super secret room. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I should have blown that up. Damn it. Well, I can still go back in there. <laughs> right, there we go. Thank you. Uh, should we go to the shop? Mm, probably not. I need more money. Okay, it's clearly not here. Maybe we need to go into this room and then check up there. No. Alright. Oh, there we go. Alright, now we have enough money to go to the shop and get something worthwhile. Yep, I'm enjoying this, uh, this run so far. It's pretty original. Ooh, that is going to be useful. Very useful, in fact. Alright, let's get this as well. And let's get the key while we're at it. Let's get the most spirit hearts that we can possibly have. Because we're surviving only on that. And that's good, this guy will give us a cube of meat. Which will be useful for our survival. Alright, let's get what... Just see what the devil has for us. Hmm. Should we get the mark? I don't think we really need it. We have the freaking Dr. Fidus, so we have enough power. We'll just focus on our health. I think that should be the uh, our focus here. Right, that ain't worth it. Should we get that? We have two keys. No, I don't think we should. We should just keep our keys. Oh god, no, th this is terrible! Yeah, it's no kind of, It's just those kinds of, of rooms that... That we... We have to hope not to get too much. Because of our Dr. Fidus. Which is a big disadvantage in those cases. Alright, that will lead us to the secret room. Let's go right now. Alright. Okay, so far so good. I just hope that we can have some more passive items. Just so we can manage without actually using a Dr. Fidus. Because right now we're in trouble if we can't use a Dr. Fidus against enemies like these spiders, for an example. But we do have the Book of Revelation, which is a good source of health. Oh. Right. Oh, looks like we're in, in the Excel room. Alright. 
Okay, that will be useful. Just an ally for us, even though it won't be too useful because we just fire occasionally. No. I'm just trying to focus because oh, place that bomb accidentally. I'm just trying to focus just so we don't lose too much health. All right, we we have no need to get to that other room. Yeah, I'm sorry for the for the lag that we're experiencing right now. It's not too much, but we do have some lag. Unfortunately, I can't just fix that without putting the game on low settings, which looks absolutely terrible, so... Alright, flat penny. That's going to be useful to get more keys. Oh no, I just placed that by accident. Oh god. Good thing we have the cube of meat. At least that gives us some offense from a close range. And thank god we have the Book of Revelation as well. Because if we wouldn't if it wouldn't be for that, I think we would be already dead by now. Because we were not really lucky on Spirit Hearts. Except the Book of Revelation. Alright, there's some bombs which are totally useless. Well, they're good for placing manually, but... Yeah. Yep, be careful. So, just visit the the lower left corner, see if the boss room is there. If it's not there, then it's at the top right. And I'll go ahead and use the spell. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I don't know, I had a bad feeling about this spell from the beginning. Hmm, is that worth it? I think it might be. I'll just go ahead and pick up that key, and then try the challenge. No, that <laughs> really ain't worth it. The worst item that we could have got. Yeah, if we could get an arcade and uh, have the item that would stop flies coming after us, that would be great be a great thing to have right now because those flies are pretty hard to kill with the doctor feeders. Alright, let's get those totally useless bombs. At least we have a good, a very nice effect on our character. That fits with our, our team for this run. Alright, boss room time. Let's kill this one very quick because this one can be trouble. Oh, I can use bombs to block him though. <laughs> Never knew we could do that. Alright, will that heart mean that we'll get red hearts? That will be useful. I'll come back into this room later. Whoa, this one means trouble, that's for sure. God. Hey. 
Come on, get him. Right. One last fly, there we go. Right. Let's get that. Let's get this. And let's get this over here. That would be amazing that would give us a red heart. No, never mind. <laughs> it just gives us a spirit heart. Amazing. Just amazing. And Necropolis. Oh, damn it. Mom's knife. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> we get the two best items in the game. But we really don't need a mom's knife along with Dr. Fidus, so we won't get it. I prefer Dr. Fidus personally, rather than mom's knife. Even though mom's knife is technically better, I just like blowing up stuff. So, Dr. Fidus is the... it's just the best option. Oh god! Damn it, I hate these things. <laughs> these things are probably the worst the worst mob for me in the game. I just hate them. They just hit you one whole heart of damage. Oh god. <laughs> we are freaking rich on keys now. Gotta love the flat penny. Right. Let's see what we can have. Like this will be useful. This too. And this might be useful as well. Yep, the devil card. <laughs> we'll have overpowered bombs. Yeah, my ally is actually <laughs> more of a nuisance than anything because he pushes back my bombs with his tears. So, yeah. He's not really helping me at all. Pill, please be good. Never mind. Oh cool, we'll have the stage 3 meat boy with him. Which is gonna be especially useful in this run. Oh god, this guy likes bombs too. <laughs> yeah, war is a... He's a bomb. He's a bomb fan. Just like Dr. Fidus. Oh! Hi. Right. Goodbye. Now stage 3 meat boy. Hmm, sad onion. Well, let's just get it. Let's just see the speed of our bombs now. Oh god. My eye balance just firing back. Well, it's just, it's just average. Oh god, Krampus! <laughs> okay. Kill it. Alright, we now have coal bombs. Let's see. Oh yeah, black bombs. That's pretty nice. That is pretty damn awesome. <laughs> okay, so far so good. We're just we're just killing stuff with that. I'm just trying to be careful about my health. That's the only thing that I'm really worried about. But power, we do have it. That's for sure. Power is not something that we lack right now. Get that key. Whoa! That was very close. You know, one last thing that will make us even more powerful is the flying ability. 
That will be the best. Hmm. More range. Hmm. Nah. We don't really need it. Alright. Time for another bomb, bomb fan. I love how Meat Boy is just pursuing him. I thank you for the bomb that I'm totally not gonna need. Oh god, that was bad damage. I think we should just search for the secret room before going ahead and beating the boss. Which is mom too, so yeah, we can get out of the room after we beat her. Oh god, wow. Okay, let's place some bombs manually then. That is going to be the use for manual bombs. Right, and we found something useful. And Meat Boy just... <laughs> what the hell, Meat Boy? Why are you betraying me? <laughs> You're just sending my bombs right on me. At least we got some very, very good abilities for fighting in a close range. Because now we got the Mulligan. Which is going to be very useful for this one as well. Seems like the game just favored us. It just... It just picked the best abilities that we could have with this uh, with our first ability. Right, get a ball on your feet. I'm going good so far. Even though we seem to have some problems right now. Some trouble from these guys right here. Oh god, got hit there. Let's use the devil card. Alright, goodbye. Yes, just like that. Alright, the womb. I'm surprised we got this far, even though even though we got Dr. Fetus, we still have the blue baby, which means that we have survived only on spit hearts. And yeah, that's what impresses me. That we managed to got to get spirit hearts. We didn't have spirit hearts to survive this far. Two of hearts, let's see what this does. Nothing at all. Let's use that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, the pills really aren't good in this run. Ooh, got invisibility. Why? Why? Seriously, why Why did I just get invisibility? Well, that's still cool, but... Hmm. Okay, pretty strange. Well, I won't complain. <laughs> God, I'm having really, I'm having some real trouble right now. I shouldn't have picked Abel because he's really a bunch of trouble. I please something that will give me health. I'm suffering right now. Oh god, not these guys!
Good thing we have Meat Boy. In this case, Meat Boy is really useful. Oh, what? Right, there we go. Oh, please. <laughs> please, game, just give me some, some health. Somewhere. Somehow. Oh, damn it. Oh, no! Right, only one more room and we'll get one more spirit heart. So we'll survive that long. Right, one more. So two hits and we die. That's better than one. So the boss room is probably, I guess it's at the at the bottom, at the bottom left, basing on my logic for this game. <sighs> Sorry if I don't if I don't really speak much right now. I'm just trying to focus and not die. Oh god. And we're back to one heart. <gasps> oh, that was close. If only I could pick up red hearts. <laughs> if only. No! It spends a lot of manual bombs. Because th this will block them off. Right. No, we don't need that pill. Oh god, I think we might die here, guys. Right, now, we're good. We're good. Alright, let's get to the boss right now. <laughs> Death. Yeah. Indeed, I think it will be our death. Because this guy is very hard to beat. Without taking damage. How's that side still pursuing me? Alright. <laughs> Stage 4 meat boy. Please help me in my quest. Surviving what's left of the womb and the game itself, but I don't think we'll make it this far. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was still a very, very good run. I really, really liked it. Uh, very original, very different from usual. Surviving on spirit hearts and getting Doctor Fetus. Yeah, that was different than usual, and it was pretty enjoyable. So yeah, so thank you all for watching this episode of the Binding of Isaac, and yeah, so. I shall see you all next time.